One of the important factors in modifying the light from a small flash like this is to efficiently modify the light and know exactly where the light's going. This is our 80-20. It allows 80% of the light to go through these holes to bounce off the ceiling. 20% bounces off the device to fill the shadows cast by the ceiling bounce. You'll notice it's installed at exactly a 45 degree angle. So the light hits this at a 45 degree angle, leaves it at a 45 degree angle. So now it's pointed obviously, obviously at the ceiling, but it's also pointed at the subject filling the shadows cast by the ceiling bounce. So that installation is important. You'll notice our pocket bouncer is installed in essentially the same way. But the pocket bouncer sends 100% of the light forward where 80% is going through these holes. Often people have said, well, why don't you just tilt the bounce surface back and have it variable and you can send light to the ceiling. But the problem with that is, pretty obvious, that if you tilt the light back like this, now the light that hits the device leaves it at the same angle, so now it's going up there. Or if I tilt it forward like this, instead of going towards the subject, it's going where? To the ground, to the feet. So by having it variable like that, yes, you are varying the amount of light that goes to the ceiling, but you're, what you're also doing is changing the angle of uh, incidence and the angle of reflection and not pointing it at your subject. So there's a bit of a problem there. Also, if you were in a crowd and you hit this adjustable pa uh, panel like this, that light's going to go all sorts of different ways and you don't know what it's doing. So it's much, much more efficient, much more predictable and effective to have it mounted where it stays fixed at a 45 degree angle.